Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to talk about exploding notes, which can be an amazingly useful tool when you're doing a lot of research and reading documents, and you want to get those documents and that research into your uh, uh, Tinderbox files uh, so that you can be able to analyze them, use them, and use them for your and use them for your work. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So you see here, I've got a Tinderbox, a new, brand new Tinderbox file opened up, and over here, I have a PDF file open. And it's about understanding my data operators, which is this new concept that I'm working on in the industry where people can actually have control and ownership over their data. If anybody's interested in that topic, please hit me up on LinkedIn and let's uh, let's talk because that's something I'm particularly really interested in. So as I'm reading through the paper, um, I immediately come across some company names that I want to grab. So I like these company names. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them and I'm going to put them into Tinderbox. So I, I create a new note. Whoops, I got to give the note a name. We'll say my data operators. And I'll hit um, uh, command option shift to be able to paste them in. And you'll see that they kind of got the data got a little, um, you know, because the data came in from a PDF, PDF can often uh, do bad things to the formatting of data. Uh, so I can just go in here real quick and, uh, you know, do a, a, a fast data cleansing, uh, cleansing um, to clean up that data a little bit. Now, this was something you, you'd be, have to do no matter what you were do, doing when you're involved with any other software. Um, so uh, that's fine. We'll just clean this up really quick. Uh, and go like this. We go like this. Go ahead and cancel here. And I have duly cleaned up the file. So you'll see here um, I have the file nice and clean and, and ready to go. Um, and these are all the my data operator companies that I found in this note. And I can continue to read the document. And then I find a bunch of names in the document too that I also really like. So I'm going to grab those as well. And these are the my data operator operator contributors contributors. And I'm going to go ahead and again shift option command. Uh, v, so I paste special, so I'm not pasting in with any of the formatting. If I were just to hit Command V, you'd see the formatting would come in like this. That's easily enough to fix in Tinderbox. You can just go up to Format, uh, you know, highlight the text again. Let's go up to Format, go Style, and Reset to Standard Text, and that's the other way to go out and fix it. If you want to skip that step, though, you can just hit Shift Option Command V when you paste, aka paste special to paste in your content. And like we saw before in the original example, you'll notice here that the, some of the content got a little munged when it came in from uh, PDF. So we're just going to fix that piece of data. Smartpaper.fi is the name of the company. And we've got that data clean. So now we're ready to explode the notes. And exploding the notes is about breaking up the data in, in one note into a bunch of other individual notes. And there's a reason why I did this in, with two different files, because you're seeing here one, I've got my notes separated by um, basically paragraphs. And over here, I have my notes separated by commas. The uh, paragraphs and commas and other kind of recognizable patterns within your data are called delimiters. Uh, and that's what we're going to explode the notes on. We're going to ask Tinderbox to break up the data based on these delimiters. In the case of this demo, it's going to be either at paragraphs or uh, at commas. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So to explode your notes, you go to Note and click Explode. Now you can do uh, Option Command E as well to be able to do that. Uh, and we get this Explode Note dialog box popping up. So when we're in this point, um, we can either ask it to break paragraphs uh, when we do that, we can say, well, what do we want the title of our note to be? Do we want it to be the first sentence, the first two sentences, the first paragraph? Uh, let's see, be the first paragraph. Do we want to remove uh, the title from the text? So when we're done exploding the note, do we want that note uh, removed? I'm going to leave that off for this first demo to show you. And let's just go ahead and explode the note. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've exploded that note. And now you'll see here, there are all of the companies um, that were in that list. And I've got, a I've got a complete list, each with their individual note. And you'll notice that the name of the, the, that, uh, the content is still there as well. Now, if I want to undo that, to try again, I can go ahead, Option, Command, E, get the explode notes. And this time, I want to remove from text. And you see the example here. It's telling me what uh, I'm going to see, the title of the text, what will be in the note. If I go ahead and uh, remove that text, I can go like this, hit Explode. 
second time and you'll see there are all the companies but this time the information is not in uh, in the text so that is a great way about going about doing that now let me show you another example where I was doing this earlier and I ran into another challenge so I'm going to copy uh, these things and let's see if it happens the same way I had before so I'm going to strike my data operators too as an example I'm going to go ahead and paste in the code and see this time I pasted in the code and let's clean it up a little again really quick um, just to show you what's going to happen and sometimes when you're bringing in let's see if it does it for me this time as well when you bring in the content uh, the you know, you're getting a bunch of uh, a non visual characters that you can't see behind the scenes so when I go ahead and try to uh, explode this note now let's see what happens I go whoops note explode okay and then we can do that again you're gonna see it didn't actually bring in all of the uh, the companies uh, and for whatever strange quirky reason don't know why uh, there's a, clearly some um, the, you know non-visible characters behind the scenes behind this that I can't see uh, that are making it really difficult for me to be able to do that so there's an easy way to fix that um, when you get content like this and you want to get rid of those non-physical characters what you do is you go open up another application like um, BB edit which is a text editor you go ahead and hit text, create a new file, paste your content into that new file. And again, we can now start seeing why is this happening a bit. So what's happening here is we're seeing that these companies are all getting jumbled up. Um, so because of something that's happening uh, behind the scenes. So we can clean that up here in the text editor like this. Uh, or if you're lucky, like the first time I did it, you saw that it just uh, it just worked. Uh, my uh, my decks, my life digital MTD data corporation numbers own your data Peercraft Poly C Foundation. All right. And you'll see now we've got a, a, a now a new and cleaner list that we've done um, in this file. And it looks like we still are a little off. There's one there. Let's see if I've got them all. Um, looks like there's a couple more are still. And then here's one more, my data bank corporation. So you're kind of getting a sense of, of how you can go about um, getting your data on your organized and, and um, uh, you know, up and running now I can go ahead and then do it again I can create a new file paste in that new file from from uh, the uh, my data operators list here it is right there that's the new one we'll just call that new paste that in go ahead and explode that note I have it break at delimiters and you'll see now we have all of our company lists there. So that's a really nice way uh, of kind of what do you do when you run into problems and you're cleaning up your data. You can use multiple tools to you know, kind of get your data in because as they say, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, now, you'll also notice here what I've been doing is, um, is you know, doing my exploding multiple times just to make sure I get what I want to. And so once I get what I want, let's say I like all of these companies. I can go ahead, pull them out of the exploded note directory, delete the other two exploded notes, and now I've got a clean list of all of those companies. And that would have taken a ton of time uh, to do in any other kind of manual process. Now let's look at the other type of exploding notes. So in this example, I've got everything not separated by paragraphs, but by the um, comma. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Option Command E to come to explode notes. This time, however, I want it breaking at a delimiter. Now, there are, you know, when, I, when you look at here, this is uh, what's called um, uh, regex or re regular expression in computer lingo. And a forward slash n represents the paragraph. So breaking at the paragraphs and breaking at the delimiter forward slash n is essentially the same thing uh, in that regard. So that's why it worked for our first uh, go around. This time around, let, and let's go ahead and show you what happens. If I break at paragraph, uh, basically nothing not a whole lot's going to happen and so you know i'll go ahead and i'll just show it to you we'll explode note i break at paragraph 
and you're going to see I just get one long note. Everything's munched together because it, there were no uh, paragraph, uh, you know, multiple paragraphs in that document. Now let's go ahead and re-explode. This time I'm going to break it not at the paragraph, but at the comma. And I'm going to uncheck the delimiter for a purpose re for the purposes of this demo to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to now go ahead like this, explode the note, and you'll see now I get each one of these people in this list all broken up um, at the point of a comma. And so I've now successfully created and exploded um, all of those notes. Now, if I want to get rid of the comma in that name, I can just do it again. Explode note. This time I want to delete the delimiter. So at the end of the thing, and you can actually see what's going to happen here. See how the comma right here is disappearing? So that, you know, the, the example is going to tell you what you're going to get in the end. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the delimiter, explode the note again, and you'll now see I have all of the names without the commas there. Okay, I like this list. I'm going to go up, move them in here. I'm going to delete my other examples that I did, and I'm done. And so now we were able to quickly take um, a, a couple of lists of text, uh, one a giant list, another one a bunch of paragraph text, break it up, and turn it into notes that now we can manage, organize, link together, and do with it whatever we see fit. Um, so hopefully you found that um, useful. And, uh, and, and again, you'll see little things like this, it, like in this example, uh, it didn't really handle this well, so I can go ahead and you know, put that up there and you'll, you'll see little things that you'll want to clean up. But for the mat, for that matter, it, you know, there, this is so much faster uh, than doing it manually in any other way. So that's all about exploding notes part one. And in part two, we'll show you some other really cool things that you're able to do.